For once, we are going to do uh, something non-vintage that breaks uh, LED lights. And I've tried to convert to LED lights for most of my lighting uh, with the hope that this would uh, consume less energy, which it does, but that they will also last longer. And they don't. They all break. Uh, I had a huge number of them fail on me. That one is no exception. It breaks. It broke with a puff of smoke. Uh, and almost every time I tried it, I tried to see why, every time I tried to see why, it was never the LEDs that break. It's the power supply. And I bet you this one is the same thing. So I'm going to try to take it apart and find if I can prove my point. So it's... Uh, it's incredible they sell, they can sell this as a price competitive to light bulbs, it's so much more complicated. Alright, so here are the LEDs and uh, the power supply is right in the middle. See if I can take it apart. Uh, I have to desolder it. Okay, see you later. <laughs> You can tell that their main problem is heat sinking on those there. See, they're mounted both sides. This is a 75 watts. Lots of LEDs. And then we get to our power supply. And of course, I cannot get to it without breaking it. So I'm not going to be able to repair this one. It's all in one piece. And just to prove my point that it's not the LEDs, those last way longer than any bulb. Uh, I just got myself a, a nice high voltage DC supply uh, and a DMM here, uh, which I'm using to, to power the LEDs here. Uh, and uh, the beauty of this is that it's current limited to uh, high precision, so let's put 20 milliamps here because I have no idea what the voltage of that thing is I uh, know probably 2-3 volts per diode but I don't know how much they have put in series so let's start at about 30 volts um, on yeah 29 volts and if I turn that thing at one point and I don't know exactly where uh, it should light up once it's above the combined threshold of all the or band gap of all the LEDs oh I see it coming at 40 volts there you go there you go there you go 42 volts see it's not the LED at all so it's really the power supply that has failed in that thing alright And, uh, that's the bulb from over there <laughs> this one the other one is still work will work for a while they all fail okay I couldn't come up with a better idea to pop it off cleanly than to do it on the lathe well that certainly worked Alright, so uh, I just open it here and sure enough you can see what the problem is. Nothing to do with LEDs. It's a blown capacitor. And there's the same failure I observe on all the other lamps. Uh, this, this guy over here. So they try to make cheap supplies without transformers here and uh, that's why they put the caps and they are stressed like hell. And uh, can see who made that board lighting science group uh, so they didn't get their reliability quite right and uh, you know, although it fails uh, it's still 
quite an involved power supply. It's quite an amazing feat of engineering, those lights. Uh, and the whole thing is brought down by a simple cap and it's all with it. You can pop it out. Definitely not a happy fellow. Uh, and also, still to prove my point, this is not the first one. Here's another light. Uh, there's the same capacitor problem. Here's a third one. So they, sh they should have caught that. That should have totally be caught by in uh, reliability testing. I guess they go a little fast on the market here, those uh, Asian manufacturers. So there you have it. The LEDs have nothing wrong with it. That's great technology. But the capacitors, they suck. <laughs> so buy at your own risk.